What's really hood, my man? It's your boy. Coming in hot. <laughs> the LZ is hot. The LZ is hot. Um, yo, what's good out there? It's um, it's me, cringe, doing my thing, slinging these cringe videos, bro. It's my job. It's my responsibility to keep cringe alive. Um, so today, what are we even looking at today? We're on, uh, we're on my Nessie Life's channel again. She keeps cranking out the bangers, <laughs> which is great because I can just throw them up on my channel, bro. Um, but yeah, man, this one's titled <laughs> Crazy Girls and the Guys Who Love Them. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this gonna be about, man? So I have no working idea what that means. <laughs> but, uh, we'll go ahead and check this shit out. Like we always do. So, uh, buckle up. Grab some popcorn. <laughs> and let's go ahead and dive in. Have you ever noticed how dudes will talk bad about a crazy girl, but then only date crazy girls? Or like break up with a girl if she's not crazy enough? That's no different than when you hear about a girl who breaks up with a dude because he's not exciting enough for her or some shit. You know, like she's a low key like drama queen, but she doesn't want to seem like she's a drama queen. But if the relationship isn't exciting enough, then she breaks it off with your boy. And it's like, bro, I don't even know what was going on. Like, everything was chill, whatever. And then she's just like, it's not working out. and just pieces the fuck out. I know some of you guys have heard about this shit out there, bro. This shit happens, man. It's because it's not, the relationship wasn't exciting enough. <laughs> not enough drama. He was boring. Why is she trying to throw salt like it's a one-way street, dog? When I at Hooters, there was this really attractive guy that worked in the kitchen. I told my coworker friend that he was way too hot to be working there and that he needed to be like a Hollister model or something. I mean, the guy looked like Henry Cavill in the movie Superman. It was ridiculous. My so-called friend decided to then go and tell his girlfriend who also worked at Hooters what I said, except for she told her that I wanted to <laughs> Her boyfriend. Kitchen boy's girlfriend was known for being crazy. And those aren't my words either. The other girls that worked there told me that. In my opinion, we were all crazy. For real. We never slept. We would close the restaurant down at night and then go next door to drink until that place closed. Then we would go to one of our houses and drink more only to wake up the next day and just chug 10 Red Bulls and do it all over again. Yeah. A lot of us didn't wash our hair. After that, she was so rude to me and ignored me until I confronted her. She told me what my friend said and I had to tell her that is not true and I have my own boy problems, girl. She watched me like a hawk every single shift without fail. She was so certain that I wanted to steal her man, when in reality, I was too busy thinking of how I was going to catch my boyfriend in his next attempt to cheat on me. She didn't even follow me on Instagram, but she, Instagram, but she watched my stories every time I posted them like it was her religion. Fast forward to the next year, Kitchen Boy proposed and they were married. They had a beautiful wedding, and I know this because everybody that we worked with went and was posting all about the Hooters royalty betrothal. I don't understand why we get such a bad reputation for being crazy, but then get married and become king and queen of Hooters to the very guys who knighted us crazy. I have a theory. My theory is that guys secretly love crazy girls because it strokes their ego. They think, oh my God, I must be the greatest of all time because she's so in love with me, she doesn't know what to do with herself. And that makes them feel good shots fired as a man who loves crazy women uh <laughs> the good kind of crazy though there's a difference there's like the bad crazy and there's the good crazy the good crazy will make it last the bad crazy is she like cuts your dick off <laughs> or some shit you guys you guys know i don't need to give examples but there's the bad crazy and the good crazy obviously i'm into the good crazy because it is it's a good source of of energy it's like a fire or something it's like you can always kind of see the the flame there um 
I don't fucking know. Don't read too much into that. Uh, and the good kind of crazy is just what I'm into. And for her to say some shit like this, bro, like, I mean, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, <laughs> I mean, I would be lying if I would say that there's no element of my ego that's not like, yeah, she's insane, but <laughs> it makes me feel good <laughs> to be with her. Like, I would be lying if I said that that wasn't true. Because it is true. Like, I don't know. Like, I just... I'm the kid. I'm the kid to to, to relate to the younger uh, audience. Or if there's a younger audience or whatever. I don't really know who... What age range listens to my shit. But, um... Like, to relate to the younger audience. Like, I'm the kid in class. Like, let's say, like, high school. Like, I'm the kid in class. <laughs> I, I'm like... <laughs> I'm like the Invader Zim kid in class, bro. Like, if we went all the way back to high school, bro, that that's me, dog. <laughs> like, I didn't have, like, the hot topic, like, pants and shit. But you, you, you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. That was me, bro. <laughs> and I feel like that's pretty easy for you to imagine. I mean, I have a fucking channel called Cringe. <laughs> I have a channel called Cringe, and I just talk about cringy shit or just stuff that I like that isn't necessarily cringe. Like, I don't think it takes much stretch of the imagination for you. Um, <laughs> that's just what it was. And <laughs> naturally, naturally, the uh, the weird, like, crazy chick in the class or whoever that would be, you know, like, our energies would be, like, compatible, bro. <laughs> Oh my god damn And uh, that's just what it was And so like <clears throat> To say that Part of my uh, I don't know ego wasn't uh, Kind of stroked by uh, Finding the crazy chick Like I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't But at the same time like what the fuck That's such a broad statement to make man I'm not over here like oh yeah You know she's insane but she's into me So uh, I'm a dope badass <laughs> That's, that's not entirely true. And who's to say she doesn't feel the fucking same way? I asked one of my single guy friends, and he said it was because of the challenge. It keeps things interesting. I asked another guy, and he told me that it's all about the crazy hot scale. He said that it depends on if the girl is more or less attractive than you. But basically, he said, if you're super hot, it's okay to be super crazy and throw a plate at his head because you have a booty like a Kardashian. But if you're not that hot, you can't be super crazy a thousand times yes this dude whoever this dude is that you asked got this shit right bro the crazy hot scale bro it's a real thing 100 percent real and you know this really just has to do with whether you mess with the crazy at all like if you don't mess with it then you know the crazy hot scale means nothing to you if you do like a little bit of like spice in your food you can, and you can handle your spice quote unquote the crazy hot scale is relevant and you know you should pay attention to it those women that are just like eight nine ten out of ten in appearance but then like they're you know they're they're, they're a little off it's like there's something about i know you guys have seen these women i know you have i know like, like for example i know you have and i can prove it like a, an example of one of these types of women would be like Oh my god, would be like uh, an ice queen, right? Like ice queen, like you've seen them, they're fucked, you're going about your day doing whatever, you go into a Starbucks or a Costco or some shit, and you lock eyes for like three seconds, but it seems like a fucking eternity because she's burning your soul. I don't even know what it is, like the Dementor's kiss from Harry Potter with just her stare, dog. Like, <laughs> and you're in trance, bro. <laughs> Like those are the types of that's one of the types of women I'm talking about man And it's like I don't know like I just like investigating that whole situation like why is she like that? Why does she hate the world? Uh, but yes the crazy hot matrix. I don't know if this is just me, but I'm just saying like it's just intriguing Like what is she so like batshit about? <laughs> you know what I mean like I'm into I'm into, like to be honest with you, bro like uh, <laughs> I'm into like the women that are like 8, 9, 10 out of 10 uh, in appearance, but they like are just under meeting the criteria for having like schizophrenia, dog. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> they're just below this shit, bro. Like, they're just below it. Like, if they had a few more, a few more little, uh, the criteria, they could clinically be admitted for schizophrenia to a psychiatric facility. <laughs> like... What does that say about me? I don't know, man. I don't know. You can investigate that as much as you want. But I'm just saying, like, I maybe that just has to do with me. Like, I like investigating shit. I like investigating women. I like exploring their minds. And I like understanding what makes them tick. And so, like, for me, if you fucking, if you're going about your day and you see an 8, 9, 10 out of 10 fucking slim, thick fucking sweetum, and she seems a little bit fucking nuts, like, I'm like, yo sweetie like what <laughs> what's good i don't understand someone please explain to me this phenomenon tell me in the comments i really want to know is it because it strokes their ego is it because of the challenge or is it because of the hot crazy scale well that looks like it's it then looks like it's all all done but uh anyways <laughs> i feel like for i don't know any of the any of you out there who also fuck with the craziness man you kind of know what i'm talking about but if you don't, then like what I'm saying makes no sense at all. Or it makes even less sense than usual <laughs> somehow. But uh, I guess that's it for the video though.